Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. It is finally time to go over the PvP data for the end of Season 1 of the brand new era, the Abyssal Era. I am super excited to see if any of these monsters have had an impact. As is usually the case with the new era, the monsters don't seem that great, right? It's kind of like a reset of sorts, especially when SP does a stats increase. But the stats increase is quite significant. Now, unlike past eras, there are there is no easy way to rank up these monsters. There's no rank up survival dungeon for this new era. You basically get the monsters and kind of just wait until there's another way to get some more cells. So the monsters that could have been highly ranked are the race monster, which I don't remember being that good. And then the bounty hunt monster uh, for players that really participated in it uh, could have potentially had the monster at a high rank. I, I got mine rank for and I wasn't. I mean, no, I was pretty involved. I wasn't as involved as I could have been, but I was pretty involved in it. I had a lot of fun in Bounty Hunt. Um, we have the Ancestral Monster, Grafania Iron Wings, which similar players can't rank up. It's like the first time Forsaken Monsters were introduced, or it's like the Walking Dead Monsters. Unless players invested a lot of money into them, I, I really don't see how players are going to have the monster ranked up. I'm really hoping that in the next Bounty Hunt, that's when SP uh, gives players more of a chance to get Grafania. I mean, if you take a look, when they introduced the Conjuring event with Monster Device, the same thing. Players probably invested a lot of money to get Device, or whoever those small number of players are. And then SP basically just handed him away for free in this in this next Bounty Hunt event. So I'm hoping there's a way to get Grafania cells, even if it's only like level 8 and it's a few cells. That's the hope. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I, I don't really expect to see monsters. Again, they could be powerful if they could be ranked up. Because you just, stats-wise, it's ridiculous, right? Like, over a million HP, power stat is crazy high. Uh, the meta is Light Monster, so we usually need a Metal Attacker. I think that was uh, King Pig or Pig King, but he was a Maze Monster. So, also, they redid the Maze. Like, there's so many different and issues and stuff, but let's go into it. What are the top monsters being used? Shout out to Monster Legend and Pedip Wiki for putting this together. Link in the description to the blog if you want to check it out. Alright, and this was posted two days ago. So... Hello once again to everyone. So it is the end of the season and as such it's time for me to give my brief thoughts on everything that happened within the last season. To start off so far I personally as someone who has just gone full free to play am quite disappointed. It is definitely not an era I am excited for or happy about so far. The heavy focus on Pandolf's Conjuring mechanic makes things just not as fun in my opinion. It's basically rolling the dice, gambling if you will, and I myself, uh, and I myself didn't get anything. Yeah, same here. So here's what I'll say. The Pandolf's Conjuring event mechanic as an event itself i actually don't mind it i remember when i played um battle cats was it battle cats they do those those what is it like capture summoning event like i don't have a problem with that i think when sp is introducing an exclusive monster that can only be acquired via the conjuring event that's what makes an issue if the if the pandas conjuring thing was just a way to get additional cells that'd be fine but to make it as this is the only way to get this monster and to get additional cells for the monster gosh that's where i have a huge yeah problem with it in a way, it's really no different than breeding, right? You know, the chance to breed a monster is like 2% or whatever it is. But you can do infinite breeds. For the Conjuring event, you need these exclusive seasonal tickets. There's only some way to get them. The easiest way is to spend money. So that's what I don't like about it. But the, the, the mechanic itself, it, it could definitely be improved and better. Um, I got some cells uh, for a few of the new monsters, but I didn't get um, actually anyone. I must say my luck seemed to be in the dumps. I'm not going to spend on this unfun mechanic. As the rank up spell in well, hasn't... Had a bug for a solid update, like most of us have been asking for the past four months. And yeah, and I'm just kind of like free reading it now. And yeah, um, we are we are still met with the radio silence. I try to be positive, I do. It's hard, um, it's hard to though when every new update seems to bring in something I don't like. This era so far doesn't entice me. Shame too. Wars can still be quite fun. That's honestly, and I've been saying this for a while, that is probably the most fun of Monster Legends. The wars. PvP, it's the same thing every single time. You you find the same monsters, you're in the same league. Um, if you really, really want to shoot for top 100, uh, you, you'd need a whole different, like, strategy in it. So, I mean, I'm, I don't ha really have fun with it. The mazes aren't fun. It's repetitive. The, the races aren't fun. The war is what keeps me into the game. And even then, sometimes it's, like, super one-sided. Like, right now, we are in a war where we have, like, 300 coins to their 16. And sometimes it's um, one-sided <laughs> against you where you just get decimated. Um, so even then, sometimes it's 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 also like a hit and miss. Uh, and speaking of, there are a lot of new monsters whom, with the new update and play stats, could be very good. However, with no rank of surround and how scarce Corellia is, yeah, I'm telling you, that's that's the big issue. There isn't a way to rank up these monsters who I would otherwise enjoy using. Again, massive shame. 
Um, I was just focusing on bringing up my old monsters, but in regards to anyone newer, they aren't going to be used by me anytime soon because of this. Yeah, so it is because of this. I really think SP is going to have to introduce a rank up survival dungeon. Otherwise, we're, we got these new monsters with inflated stats that can't be used. The old meta monsters are still going to be a lot better. I got to say season two with SP introducing, um, even like the end of the bounty hunt, introducing a cold blood monster. And I, I think the season two monsters skills wise are better. So I, I do think like all SP needs to do is rank up survival dungeon for this new era and we'll be good to go. Uh, the fact they remove talents is also a big hit on these monsters. Um, because even their, their like unique relics, they're just not as good. Like uh, instead of running that Grifania, uh, that revival essence you get with Grifania, I'd rather stick with Shadow's Essence because when a monster dies, it applies bleed, deals dark damage up to twice. Like that's crazy powerful. But this, this new like mechanic of if all three of your monsters are in the righteous court, you get an extra effect. Like who cares about that? There's one talent or yeah, there's one, not talent. There's one relic that's like all um what is it i already forgot blossom all blossom and earlier generations get uh take extra damage like okay in a couple months when it's only the new monsters abyssal era monsters you're not that third effect isn't going to be non-existent because you're only going to be facing abyss monster with abyss monsters players are going to be using galactic and the sport so yeah there's some improvement that can definitely be made um anyhow oh i scrolled up but with that being said um a is for attack d is for defense so basically if you're new to the channel the way this works is you're gonna um they go through the top 100 players and they see what monster being used for offense and defense and that's a good proxy for like the best monster in the game keep in mind that's only for pvp not for war war is a whole different animal the ratio of pay to play galactics to abyssal versus done was 62 to 38 oh wow that's a big gap huh pretty massive gap i feel like given enough time we could actually get to 50 50 that would for sure be something to see as the comparison now. Free to plays, pay to play gets. Well, not much really. Without talents in your era, there isn't. Yeah. How do you. Yeah, there's not really. <laughs> other than getting like the, the rank three golden pass monster, not really needed. Um, free to plays of Lucky, they did get access now to the Tiburus and Grenade and Pandolf's Current Drain. Again, now only if Lucky. Um, to those who did nice, as for the available to get new monster raw, part of me is thinking like. Is it really worth ranking up these old generation monsters? Like, with the ex exception of, like, Pierce, right? Like, Cherub, Cupid. And those monsters will always have a place in the game. Well, who knows? Like, you increase the stats a lot. Maybe they don't even get used. Like, what Pierce legendary monster gets used, right? Um, but I don't I don't know if they're worth ranking if eventually, like, SP... It feels to me like SP is killing them off. But we'll see. Uh, let's see. Like, even if I could ring, I think Pig King or Coral with their higher raw damage up with stats could be decent. Jingle Hell, Jingle Hell's uh, solid war restricts, but even then, I'm not crazy about anyone. Darman Santa, triple damage. I honestly prefer the original Darman. Uh, Clara Claus, Mighty Thedius, Mouseric. Um, of who, which I really like. Mouseric, yeah, Fugitive Pater, usually goodish quality. With Yeah, again, the reason I went for Mouseric is for that Cold Blood, which is basically the new Pierce, right? I don't think we're going to see an actual monster with Pierce, so he's going to be usable. Uh, but yeah, let's scroll down and see. So, heavies are monsters that have 40 or more players using them. We have Cherub Cupid in the number one spot and K911. Ooh, K911 at 56. Wow. Mostly an attack monster. Look at that, 42. We have Amonia at 43, 952. So, the top two attack monsters, Amonia, K911. And we have Shadow also 38. So, these three are the top three attack monsters. Cherub Cupid is mostly being used on defense. I use mine on defense as well. I use Serpentex for offense. 47. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have Galvanist, 1236. Popular defense monster. Lamuna. This is a 41 defense monster. She has cold blood anticipation. She can deny. Annoying. Elvira, 2026. Kind of almost split down the middle. Look at this. There's quite a few monsters. What is that? Like seven or eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven monsters that are being used. That is a big variability i would say so we have fire light we have is it fire metal magic dark i think she's dark and metal i forget shadow um uh, thunder light uh magic maybe magic dark i don't know and um, fire light okay let's go down we have uriel we got 30 light and earth serpent text at 27 total fire and light the king the megatop monster king we knew when he got released he was going to replace pango at 23 on defense. I use mine for offense. Actually, no. My team now is Elvira, 
for offense, Shadow for that light hater, and Serpent X. That's my team. Um, but scrolling down, Mother Talica Nerad, yeah, she's one of the monsters that I bought. She was what, like those exclusive monster thirty dollars when the season first starts. Um, I think Lamuna was too, and I wanted to get Lamuna, I didn't. Uh, but now I do have her thanks to all the events SP does. Nerad, I remember buying them like this monster's gonna be worth, it. and sure enough, she is in the top. We have Rawris, the light monster, Voltic redeemed. Also, Maggie, the walking dead monster that actually makes it basically like a crazy strong. So many skills, so much you can do with her. Starts the game off with evasion like Elvira does. I, I really think if she was more available, she would probably reduce Elvira's number significantly. So it'd be helpful too because you wouldn't have a light monster susceptible to that light hater. You'd have an earth monster. Well, also, yeah, she just has, I forget, does she have anticipation? Maybe that's Carol or someone else. But yeah, like, she's powerful. Forge Labs, it's the same thing. What the heck? Lord Heyman actually at 7? That's interesting to see. Crazy Lord Heyman usage, Teddy Bomb, Grey Cthulhu, I like him a lot, he's fun, here's a Pierce monster, Pierce skills, Chell Long, oh look, we have it, a Taunt monster, that's the first one of the new era, we have the P the PvP monster, maybe, maybe the players that got this monster, did a lot of PvP, took her to rank 5, she has a revival, so if she dies she comes back, she's a Taunt monster, maybe, there's Carol, Carol's the one I think has anticipation, Dango, Elf, Dark Volt, Darman, Pig King, that's the maze monster. Griffonia at two. I wonder if like they just placed the Griffonia tiers or they actually have it ranked up. Because when I looked through like top accounts, I think I looked through the top ten. No one had Griffonia. But that'd be interesting to see. Clara Claus at two. So we have a few of the new monsters. Ropsy. Yeah, we have there's Mouseric. I wonder if he'll be higher. Again, it, the hard thing is like you can't rank these monsters up. There's Mighty Thetis. You can't rank them up. That's the biggest, biggest hit on the new monsters. But this is interesting to see. All right, guys. Well, these are the top monsters. Again, huge shout out to Monster Legends Competitive Wiki for putting this together. I'm really looking forward to seeing if Season 2 has any changes, especially the monsters seemingly being a little better. Um, but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think? I, I hope SP does some sort of change. Again, the rank ups for all dungeon, that would that'd be a huge change. That's all players would need to get motivated to rank up these new monsters with their buff stats but i don't know guys let me know what you guys think about these monsters in the comments below did anyone surprise you did anyone shock you any other thoughts comments below thank you very much and remember to subscribe